Hey guys, hey, what's going on? How you guys doing this morning? Man, it is, what time is it? It is 4 o'clock. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, hold on a second. I'm trying to turn this volume up a little bit. Okay. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. And I have not opened this. I have not opened this pit. There we go. Turn my light on. Man, since 7 o'clock. So this has been on since 7 p.m. yesterday. And uh, this pit is running at 245. It did go as high in the middle as high as 250. But man, that was after hours or something like that. Uh, still running uh, wide open on the stack. And since I had a cold pit, I didn't I just shut it down. Uh, I had a three-fourths open uh, throughout this whole cook. So this been it's been almost 10 hours now. Uh, since I uh, put these in and uh, I did put some grass up there but if you look at this I noticed it went up the highest 315 but that was like at the I'm gonna say the six hour mark seven hour mark which is still good so the pit came up came up pretty slow all right so let's go ahead and check out let's go ahead and check out the uh but anyway let's see on this the meter box did great too man uh did had to get up and put a little bit closer and so it's been running when uh, it has some interruptions but it always recovered and gave you back and gave you the data that you needed uh but man i, I slept good i think i put these on at seven and i went to bed at nine o'clock and uh, so uh so it's been almost 10 hours so let's go ahead and look at these butts so they've been running that looks good too i'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up so these pork butts are sitting at 175 I think 180, 179. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up, okay? But the thing is, the one thing about these probes right here, these meat probes, uh, when you do wrap, just make sure you don't cover with aluminum foil. Just poke a hole in them, and, uh, and it, it, it should do fine. I had learned that you can't cover these probes with aluminum foil. You just have to make sure this this end is sticking out the foil. But that's good color. I use a sweet heat, um, which because it looks quite red. So I use a sweet heat on my on my pork butts. I didn't go with salt and pepper today. Just a heavy dose of uh, a sweet heat. Let's take out these briskets. Oh yeah, them babies look good. So this one's at one. What was it? Yeah, one sixty three. One sixty three. One sixty. To me, that looks a little bit darker, but I do like the color. I think it was one sixty five. Okay, but the uh, the pit came up. It came up real slow, and which which was good for a night cook. Oh, let's take this one off. So look at the, uh, the the different levels. I got the second, I got the third, and if you look at the level of both, they both got an even cook, so even color. So the temp for these two was right around 250ish. Okay, uh, but it probably didn't hit 250 to about round. I'm gonna say like it's at the six hour mark. Okay. Instead of running a dry pit, looks good. I mean, it, it did an even cook for me, especially um, when I didn't I didn't drop into any kind of hot. If I would have put hot coals in there using my chimney, then that probably would have brought the, the pit up a little bit faster. But, you know, for the last video, so I, I just did a little bio cube, and that gave me my, uh, I had to get my poker, guys. Hold on. That gave me a, gave me a, a longer cook, a longer burn than dropping like a half of a chimney stuff, chimney a fuel in. Man, it's kind of cold out here. Let's see what we got. So that's the fuel. Let me see, let me see that. Turn my light off. Yeah, right now it's on convection mode. But we're gonna see how much we got, how much we got left in here. Come on. Okay. Well, there you have it. That's that's about a good 10, 10 hours. And I still got a couple, but it's still running, man. It's still running pretty hot on convection mode. Uh, I think the top was running at 300 degrees, just over 300 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap. And I'll, I'll probably add a little bit more fuel just to go ahead and push over, you know, cause I did add lump and uh, Kingsford. So now I think it's probably that's probably one of the reasons why I don't have that much fuel because I did use 
That's a lump charcoal too. Hey, Delaney, how you doing, man? But that still looks good though, for 10 hours. You know? But I'll tell you, if I would've used my fan system, uh, and had it controlled a little bit more, set it for, I'm gonna say, 240, 235, I know I would've had a lot more charcoal, okay? But this is, uh, this is what you get without using a fan system. So my next cook, I'm gonna use my fan so you guys can see the difference. Hey, good morning to you, okay? Well, that's a wrap on this one. Let's go ahead and push this in. Oh, yeah. <sighs> but so far, the uh, the meter block, it, it did its job. You know, gave me a good, you know, some good data detail on my cook. But, man, that looks good. Matter of fact, man, this will be my first time spraying. I'm going to go ahead and spray these briskets since I'm up. You know, when I close it, I don't spray nothing. Let's see. I'm using my old spray system. Push that right there. Right there. There you have it. A little bit of wetness. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap these puppies up. And then uh, call, it, call it a day. That was a good cook. All right, guys, I got to go. God bless you, and we'll, we'll talk to you later.